Hey kids, this is Ivan. How you doing? Well, in day 20 of RPG a Day 2018, so a couple months ago, um, the question was something like, you know, um, what is one of your favorite mechanics? And the answer I gave was kind of like a failing mechanic, something like Fantasy Flight Game Star Wars would use, where when you're rolling for a success or failure, when you decide to finally pick up dice, you've done something that prompts a check. Um, some of the results that can come up outside of just success or failure are like these tangential things, these advantages or threats. These are kind of like the... Uh, the ands and the buts. I've made a couple of videos about these kind of mechanics over the years. You know, the idea that yes, you succeed and something else great happens, or yes, you succeed, but this unfortunate thing also kind of happened. You got what you wanted, but something else happened bad. Or, you know, you failed, you know, but this nice thing happened. Or, yes, you failed and, you know, things went really, really badly. Um, outside of a degree of success or failure, not a lot of games have uh, a mechanic like that, which is kind of tangential. And uh, Closing Straw 97, I believe is his moniker, asked me, are, are there any, um, any sources for that style of mechanics in something like, you know, OSR D&D style games like Swords and Wizardry, Lamentations of Flame Princess, that sort of thing. And actually, yes, I've had an idea, you know, kicking around for a while, but there's nothing new under the sun. In fact, one of the other comments I got on that was by All Lucky 7, I believe their name is, and they were talking about a game they'd heard of called Dusk City, Dusk City Outlaws, which used kind of like a percentile dice plus another die, which gives you this, like, do you have a boon or do you have uh, some kind of bane? So it's similar to the idea I'm, I'm kicking around, but I'll share it with you anyway, because I'm sure somebody else has come up with this before. Um, so you're making any kind of check in an OSR style game. Maybe, maybe you're doing something like roll under your dexterity on, on a d20. Maybe you're doing uh, a skill check and maybe you're doing a Lamentations of the Flame Princess style so you're rolling, you know, trying to roll low on a d6. And maybe you have a two and six chance so you want to roll, you know, a one or a two or you fail. I actually rolled a two there. So I succeeded. But I made a video previously, you know, not to make things too confusing, talking about the idea of introducing a degree of success or failure in games like that which don't have one, and the mechanic that I, I inserted in there, which I've been using in my games to, to really good effect, but, you know, we don't use it all the time, but when we do, it can really kind of liven things up, is taking a second D6. I stole this mechanic from a game called In Nomine. It's called a check die in that game. You roll this other different color D6 you know, at the same time, and depending on how um, large the number is, that tells you the degree of success or failure you got. And so in this case, I got a four, so I succeeded rather well. But, you know, if I was a failure and I rolled a six, well, it's an abysmal failure. But that's not what we're going to do here. The other idea that I had, which to um, insert a, um, an orthogonal, you know, a tangential thing that might happen for the, to our success right here, is got these things called fudge dice. We play it using games called Fate, too. But these are really neat because they come with a blank side, right? Which means nothing interesting happened. They come with two sides. You know, they kept two blank sides. Two sides with a plus, which in this case I could say, well, something neat happened as well, or they come up with these negatives. Okay, something bad happened. So I could just roll that die right there, and okay, well, it became a blank face. So I simply succeeded with that roll of two. But you start thinking, well, what can you do with something like this? Well, maybe I'm doing um, the, the example I've used a million times where I'm trying to get across this really skinny beam between two buildings, and I'm making my dexterity check with a d20, but I'm going to go ahead and I succeed. So I'm going to roll this. I've rolled under my dexterity, but I'm going to roll this here fudge die, and I'm going to minus. So something bad happened. So maybe I succeeded. You know, this dexterity check, I didn't fall off the beam, but maybe I dropped something that I really wanted. You know, it's an interesting thing, you know, you can just kind of add there. Maybe you're, you're climbing. You know, up a wall, you do some kind of skill check, up a wall, and I succeed, and I roll this, this fudge die again, and I get a plus. So maybe what happens is, not only do I succeed climbing up this wall, but I do it really, really fast. I actually get um, quite a bit of a lead, uh, you know, um, against whoever's pursuing me. In this case, that's why I'm climb, clambering up this wall or this tree, or whatever it happens to be. So it's something I can, I can use there to kind of add in a little extra. I, I wouldn't suggest using it all the time. I would, I would suggest using a mechanic like this when it would make sense that perhaps uh, something interesting could happen outside of just plain old success or failure. I don't think I would use both, both uh, additional mechanics at once. In other words, I don't think I would, I would roll to see if I did something, roll a degree of success or failure, and then roll a, uh, uh, a, a fate die, or fudge die rather, to see what happened. In this case, I've succeeded. I got a good degree of uh, success, but something bad happened. You know. It's up to you how you want to adjudicate that or, you know, whether you want to use that or not. Uh, but the idea is, you know, I think I would use one or the other on any, on any given role. But something like this would, you know, add a little bit of extra flavor to a game. So I, because 
kind of throwing that out there as, as an idea I've kind of had for a long time, and I want to start maybe play testing it. Maybe I'll play test that a little bit in my Lamentations of the Martian Princess game, and every once in a while, when they do some kind of check, maybe have them roll one of these, too. And, of course, if you don't have Fate dice or Fudge dice, you know, you just say one and two is negative, three and four is neutral, and five and six is positive. If you think that makes... Um, these tangential things happen too often. Well, then just say one is negative and, and six is positive and everything else in the middle is, is neutral. So that's just kind of an idea I've had kicking around for a long time. But, you know, as All Lucky 7 proved, I'm not the first one to think of it. So have a good day, kids. Talk to you later.